No shirt, no shoes, no service. But what about pants? Why didn't anybody ever think of pants? Regardless, in most states in the United States, public indecency laws are on the books, meaning that, unfortunately for all my nudist friends who want to invoke their First Amendment right to freedom of expression, you simply can't walk around in public naked, or in some cases even pee in public, because to do so would be a nuisance or create a disruption of peace. In some states, like Vermont and Oregon, you can be legally naked in public. You just can't have the intention of arousing or offending anyone with your sexual this is one reason why breastfeeding is legal in public. It's all about the intention. It's ironic then, and it goes to show how ineffective laws are, because if it's legal to be naked in these states, then why isn't everyone walking around in their birthday suits? It's the simple logic that good ideas don't require force and laws do not necessarily change our habits. One rational way as to why I think these laws are on the books though, besides the fact that it's a conspiracy by the clothing industrial complex, is that sexual assault would increase rapidly because right now if some men have this distorted logic that, oh, a woman's dressed in a risque fashion, she's wearing a low cut top, therefore she's asking for sex, Imagine how much worse that would be if women everywhere were naked all the time. It'd be very problematic. And going back into history, I want to share a few examples. In 1907, a woman swimmer was arrested under public indecency laws because she was wearing a one-piece bathing suit. Thankfully, times have changed and evolved for the better. And more recently, in 2008, the police chief of Flint, Michigan, declared that she wanted all dudes engaging in sagging to be arrested. And this was the trend, as a refresher, that men would wear loose blue jeans and then those jeans would fall a little bit so their underwear was revealed behind them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Why does the state want to be the fashion police? Is it just another means of control? Personally, I think they should leave the fashion designing in the states and in the world to people like Chanel and Armani, but that is just my thought. Let me know yours in the comments below. Peace, love, and liberty. Andrew Demeter, signing out.